Hello everyone and in this video we are going to see that how we can flash our Hydra kernels which has been released today itself in our Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay guys so let me just tell you that today the level 5 Hydra kernel has been released and here you can see the level 5 change logs has been stated on the XDA page of the Hydra kernels. Okay guys now here if you see so there are uh, quite lots of change logs which has been done by me and uh, if you want to read more so you can simply click on this thing so let's go to this particular page and let's let me explain you all these change logs which I have done okay guys so very first change logs is the Linux version 4 14 301 so yes guys the Linux version has been updated now let me just show you the github so I'll come over here to the uh, Hydra kernel github page I'll go to the repository over here and here if you see so here you can see the Hydra begonia has been written so you simply have so guys here you can see that yes I have merged the tag of 414301 that is the latest Linux version with for our Hydra kernels for our the Redmi Note 8 Pro on to the next change log so here you can see that the it is built with the dragon toolchain which is 10.0 also guys it is built with proton clang as well okay guys both the files are on the download page that is the plink page I'll go over there as well soon moving on to the next guys so here you can see that synchronized code code with so yeah guys i mean many of the configuration has been taken from miui so yes thanks to miui moving on to the next so here you can read many of the other change logs guys here you can see that some of the change logs which are uh, quite interesting is the security enhancement guys i have added some of the patches uh, through which the security will be quite more enhanced as compared to the previous builds of the hydra kernel so guys it also supports magix 25 as well moving on to the next uh, so guys uh, here the smoother ui and faster app opening that is the ui improvement has been done by from my side okay guys and also guys here low latency is there so guys let me tell you that hydra kernel that is the latest build is a uh, quite uh, network compatible i mean it, it is a low network or uh, it is a network friendly uh, kernel i mean if you are in a low kernel uh, low network area so still the hydra kernel will be performing way more better than any other uh, kernel out there now guys i'm not saying that any other uh, the other kernels are bad or good but yes guys the hydra kernels you will definitely get a better edge as compared to the others it this uh, the dragon tc is in particularly for my gamer friends moving on to the next this is something which can be experienced okay this cannot be actually explained but this can be experienced that yes the battery life is definitely increased okay guys moving on to the next so here are some of the changes which uh, i guess uh, not much to be explained but here the last change and the uh, one more before that is the spectrum and the miui support is two uh, two major changes so yes guys the it supports miui 12.5.x and and yes guys in this video we are going to see that how to flash it in the miui itself because guys i have many i've already shown it for the aosp or you can say that the uh, custom rom i've already shown that how to flash how to flash hydra kernel in the custom rom but guys in this video we are going to see that how to flash it in miui and also guys here the spectrum gpu settings has been toggled it means that guys if you will uh, set the spectrum to balance to performance and also this kernel will work perfectly in every situation moving on to the uh, to the next guys so here uh, one thing to be explained by me is the protected fast charging support so guys in this uh, protected fast charging what you get is that if your device battery is below 50 percent so what will happen is that the overall charging will be around 2900 mAh okay milliampere hour and uh, if your battery is above 50 percent so the charging will be around 27 to 25 okay so 2700 mh okay now guys this is what called as protected fast charging and also guys this is enabled in this particular kernel so guys if your device is charging slow so you didn't don't need to think much about the simply flash the hydra kernels in your redmi note pro custom rom or any of the rom makes uh, and it will make sure that your charging is quite enhanced now guys there are various other fixes which has been done which all uh, many of the things has been stated over here so you can simply read it over here and I'll provide the link in the description make sure that you check it out now guys let's see that uh, uh, from where we can download this thing so for downloading uh, the part I'll come to the XT over here and I'll so I'll simply click on that particular thing guys and here you can see that there are more things which are available over here so now let's see how to download it so we will, when you will scroll down so guys here also you can read the change log over here uh, I mean in the in the below part over here you can see the 5.13 and here guys you can read the change logs over here not an issue uh, i've already uh, read the change logs now guys on this files over here 
and guys here you can see the dragon tc zenx download any of the kernel that is uh, you can see the y 5.13 is shown okay so you can simply download any of the kernel uh, according to your choice now if i if you talk about my personal recommendation so i will go with the dragon tc because guys i have built the kernel and i know that many modifications has been done in the dragon tc as compared to the proton clang okay guys because proton clang is somewhat at the balance point and dragon tc is mostly at the gaming point okay let's go to our phone and let's see that how we can flash this particular kernel in our redmi noted pro so guys i am here on my phone and let me just show you guys that i am on miui currently so guys here you can see that i'll go to the about phone over here you here you can see that i'm on miui version 12.5.5 and guys if i go to the all specs over here so here you can see that my kernel version is basically the miui kernel which we get in stock which is like it gets overheated if we all know that thing very well so guys let's see that how we can flash the, our hydra kernel in miui okay guys now let me tell you that you can use any of the miui version that is completely up to you uh, now guys let's see that how we can change our kernel in this so here you can see that our kernel version is uh, currently the stock kernel which we get now guys let's see that how we can change the kernel in uh, in the miui and let's switch it to hydra kernels for better gaming performance as well as the better battery backup so guys i'll go to the chrome over here and here you can see that guys i've already opened the downloading page so you simply have to do the same steps as i'm doing so first come to the chrome i'll give this particular link in the description that is hydra kernel link in the description uh, just come on this particular page now scroll down over here guys click on the files over here so guys here you can see the first two that is proton clang and hydra and and the dragon tc so guys i'll be flashing the dragon tc hydra kernel you can use any of them proton clang or you can use either the dragon tc that's completely up to you so i'll click on this download over here and uh, let's wait for it to download So guys, you can see that I have downloaded the Dragon TC Hydra kernel, which the uh, the version name is Zen uh, Zen X. Okay, guys. Now uh, what you have to do is you have to guys make sure that your uh, bootloader is unlocked. So how to check that thing? So you have to come to About phone over here. Just press the uh, MIUI version seven times. So after pressing it, you will get that you are now a developer. Press the back button over here. Scroll down over here and click on the additional settings. Now here you can see the developer option over here and here you can see that my device is already unlocked. So guys, make sure that your device is unlocked. Guys, if your device is not unlocked, so you can simply unlock it. Uh, you can unlock it without the loss of data. Okay guys, so my device is unlocked. Your device should also be unlocked. And also guys, here you don't, you don't need to enable the USB debugging anything. You just, you, uh, the only requirement is that your device should be unlocked. Okay, that's all. Now let me show you the, uh, now guys, make sure that your kernel is downloaded. Let me just check you. So here you can see that in downloads, my Dragon TC Hydra kernel has been downloaded. Now guys, what you have to do is you have to press this home uh, power button and you have to click on the restart, reboot. And after press, pressing the reboot, just press the volume down button, volume down button continuously. So guys, after pressing that, you will come on this uh, fast boot uh, mode. Okay, you will come in the fast boot mode. Now guys, let's go to our PC and let's flash the TWRP recovery for our Redmi Note 8 Pro. So guys, make sure that your device is connected with the help of this power, I mean the charging thing with your PC. Okay. So guys, let me go to my PC and let me just show you. So guys, I am here on my PC and here you can see that I have two, I have the TWRP recovery and the Dragon TC Hydra kernels over here. Now guys, you can use any of the kernel. Uh, so I've already shown that I've, I've downloaded the kernel in my mobile, in my Red, MIUI, Redmi Note Pro as well. So either you can copy it from your PC or you can simply download it in your phone. That is MIUI, okay? Now the thing which you have to do is you have to uh, extract this TWRP recovery. So guys, simply right click on this thing and click on WinRAR and extract to theme TWRP recovery. So guys, after extracting, you will get something like folder like this, okay? Now guys, what you have to do is you have to press this folder, double click this folder and here you can see that TWRP 3.61.1. Now guys, uh, here you can see the file that is flash BRP MIUI Android 11 Unified. So you simply double click on this thing and here our recovery will be flashed since our phone is connected with our PC. Okay guys, so you can see that my recovery has been flashed. Now my device will automatically reboot to the TWRP recovery. Okay guys, so our PC work is as of so now. So guys, here we are in our TWRP recovery and uh, let me just show you. So guys, here I am on my TWRP recovery and guys here, if I uh, see in the download over here, so here you can, 
here if i see in the download over here so here you can see the dragon is hydra kernel that is the variant name is zen x has been downloaded so guys you simply you can simply download it uh, in your by going to chrome browser i'll provide the link in description or you can simply copy the kernel uh, file from your pc as well so guys uh, so guys i have downloaded this hydra kernel over here now guys what you have to do is you have to simply uh, come to install over here and here uh, just go to the place where you have downloaded the hydra kernel so i have downloaded it in the downloads so i'll go to the downloads and here you can see dragon tc hydra kernel you simply have to select this thing and swipe to wipe so guys let's wait for it to flash so guys here you can see that our android version is 11 that is i am on miui as usual and here you can see that my android version is supported so guys our redmi note our hydra kernel in our redmi note pro has been successfully flashed now guys you simply have to reboot the system and let's see guys our hydra kernel has been changed so guys here i have booted to my system and uh, let's see guys whether our kernel has been changed or not so i'll go to the settings over here about phone over here and here guys you can see in the all specs over here here you can see that in the kernel version in the kernel version here we can see that hydra kernel level 5.13 has been flashed so guys this is how you will flash your hydra kernel in your redmi note pro miui okay so guys i have already shown you how to flash it in any of the aosp that is the custom rom but guys this in this video we have seen that how to flash it in miui as well that is how guys you change the kernel so guys i hope you will like this kernel and uh, also guys if you are new to the channel then make sure that you subscribe and also guys like the video uh, and also guys share it with your friends who need a gaming kernel for their android 13 or miui devices so chalo till then take care